different ways to decorate a bone head ballerina cookie. Hi everyone, welcome to the Cookie Couture, where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you different ways that you can decorate a bone head ballerina cookie using an ornament cookie cutter. So let's get started. For this project, I'm going to use this round ornament cookie cutters, a big one and a tiny little one to cut out these cookies. For this cookie, I tinted flesh tone floating consistency icy. And I'm going to cover almost all my cookie. For this cookie, I am going to use medium consistency icing in brown to outline the border, and later on, I'm going to cover it with the same flesh tone icing. completely dry and I'm going to use edible markers to make the final touch so I'm going to use this edible marker from Jeff Masters that has a double point and I'm going to use the fine point of the edible marker and make a little curl and royal icing I'm just gonna put it there and there you have a baby girl beautiful cookies for a baby shower it looks super cute and also you can make different kind of faces very well now that my little cookie is completely dry I'm going to continue with the decorations I am going to use also the medium consistency brown icing to do the hair of this little doll And I'm going to use the toothpick techniques to make the eyes and the little blush. And here is another example on how you can decorate the same cookie in a different way. And for this one you can put like a huge bow, I have seen some girls using huge bows, like that one, or this one, it looks super cute, or also you can put some royal icing roses. And 
what about if you are going to make a baby shower for the boy? Here I'm going to share with you how you can decorate a boy cookie. Now you can have two different designs using the same cookie cutter. One for a baby shower, a little cute girl with a bow, or a ballerina for a ballet party, or just for a baby. It could be also for a baby shower, it looks super cute too. And um, this tiny one, I have made some other cookies similar to this one. You can click the link above to see a very good tutorial. For this little boy, I am going to also use edible markers. I'm using the flesh tone marker from AmeriColor. This is the food writer from Wilton. Here you have a little boy 